Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Legatum Gaming, and this week I'm going to bring you the weekly vendor reset. Um, what I'm going to do is put it in the descriptions below on the checkpoints and the markers of what I think is a good buy this week. Um, I have been to every checkpoint and uh, every safe house and everything that sells kind of like gear or mods or, or weapons or anything like that, but I'm going to filter it out to what I think you guys uh, should take a look at. Alright, so we're going to start off in the uh, advanced weaponry vendor. Um, I don't really think there's too much here other than the uh, tactical SASG. So we're looking at Fierce, Ferocious, and Responsive. Now, now this is not a uh, good weapon for those that are running high firearms, as you won't be able to get the Fierce and the Ferocious talents. Now, if you're running like a hybrid uh, build, so I made a video a couple weeks back with a three-piece tactician, three-piece high-end, this would be perfect for that. So if you're running a high uh, hybrid, electrics, and DPS, Fierce, Ferocious, and Responsive. That's a great tactical SASG. Um, if you did want to focus solely on PvP, you could take out the Ferocious, um, and then you could put maybe like Deadly or, or uh, Brutal or something like that uh, in there, so I'll leave that one up to you. Um, the rest of what's in here, I don't think you guys should take too much. Uh, the High Velocity Magazine is pretty good. Um, the problem is that they're not focusing too much on that, so that's not too good. All right. All right, let's check out the Special Equipment Vendor. This week they have the Pecan, Centurion, Liberator, Historian, the Cassidy, etc., etc. Um, now I'll have a quick look through these. I'll go pretty slow so you guys can check them out. Um, the pecan looks pretty okay with the uh, ferocious and vicious, but again, depending on your PvP PVE build, it's entirely up to you. So I'll let you guys um, take a look through this. Og is no good. AK-47, um, AK-47 is okay, so you got Vicious in the third slot, which is pretty good, Deadly in the second, and the first uh, slot you got Swift, so you can just swap out Swift for whatever you want to uh, complete your build, so that's, that's a pretty good one. Well, that's quite a nice sentry call backpack, so uh, if anybody's after completing their sentry call backpack, I know quite a few people are after sentry call to complete their MDR build. Um, this is pretty good, so crit hit damage 8%, uh, ammo capacity 52, and the firearms is not so bad, so the only thing I'd maybe swap on that is just to increase the firearms, try and get like 1270, something like that, so definitely I would say sentry call backpack is one to go for. Banshee. I know quite a lot of people are after Banshee recently. There's quite a, quite a few videos online with Banshee and how it's going to be um, the build to go for in 1.6.1. So with almost max firearms at 1260 and uh, max crit hit damage, this actually looks uh, pretty nice. So I would definitely uh, definitely get that. That's pretty nice. All right. We then go and have a look at the blueprint vendor. Again, just double check. Um, check this out for sure because uh, what I already have will not show up on this. So definitely always worth checking the special blueprint vendor just to check what there is. So um, I might already have something that's just came out, so it won't uh, allow me to see that or view that again. So I would highly recommend um, whichever video you guys watch, definitely to always check the special blueprint vendor. That's uh, you got to do that. Um, but this week doesn't seem too good. So fire up knee pad. Blueprint, um, Farms Vest, Classic uh, Foul. It's <laughs> these are all two to nine. It, it's not too good this week, uh, in my opinion. Now there was an SVD blueprint I heard, but again I've, I've already got that, so that won't show up. Um, so definitely go check that out, guys. And there is a God Roll uh, SASG. So Black Market SASG Stagger 338 with Fierce, Responsive, and Deadly. 
So that is a god roll, guys. So I know a lot of people were after the SASG, um, or if you're still looking, definitely head over to the meat locker. Then we head over to the uh, cavern, and I'm pretty pleased with finding one of these. So we have the prototype electronics mod, which is with the uh, electronics, and major attribute is skill haste. So that's pretty good. Again, I've been seeing quite a few builds about having like 40%, 50% max or skill haste, uh, and people popping their pulses, their boosters, uh, and getting them back. So this got, this will help you guys. All right, we then head over to the ward, and we have a nice electronics uh, skill mod with uh, health as the major. So you guys can check that out. That boots my stats up majorly. That's definitely one to pick up. That's at the ward. The Southpore safe house, they have um, what I hate, but I got to show you it, guys. Prototype performance mod, secret mine damage. Now, I know these are getting nerfed in 1.6.1, uh, but those guys who are not on the PTS and want to have a little bit of fun before the update, take a look at these. 3.5% secret mine damage. So they're not uh, totally maxed. The max is 4, um, but these are pretty close. So check these out if you want to have a little bit of fun before uh, the update. At West 31 this week, they have the Black Market AK-74, which is um, almost a god roll. So we got 20% enemy armor damage, prepared, deadly and unforgiving. So depending on the talents you like and you prefer, uh, this is a really good gun. And I would definitely recommend you guys picking this up. They also have um, a couple of other decent bits uh, in this uh, checkpoint, which I'll let you guys check out. Uh, robust, which isn't so bad. It's not used as much. Um, I think it could do a, a fair bit of um, credibility to the build. Uh, firearms mod, 1% crit hit chance, and then um, the crit release magazine, which is not so good. So definitely check out uh, West 31 checkpoint and uh, specifically the black market AK-74. If you make your way to West 42nd, they have a nice um, performance mod, which is the support station healing speed. So uh, I'm a big fan of kind of like a healer in a team. Uh, I'm actually making a video at this moment about a final measure uh, healer build. So I've, I've definitely just picked up a couple of these. Um, these, this is a, a really nice mod to have. Support station healing speed. Uh, the rest of it isn't actually too bad. So loud vent break, uh, you got crit hit damage, headshot damage, and stability. So not one I would personally pick up, but if you're after uh, maxing out a little bit more crit hit damage uh, on your vent break uh, or your muzzle, I would certainly pick this up. Uh, and then Operator Mask is rolled to skill power with health and kill and damage to elite. So again, not one I would personally uh, pick up, but if you guys are after some sort of uh, skill build or um, kind of like picking up your health in the last segment, then uh, Operator Mask is not so bad. At West 46th, they have um, a really nice specialized uh, backpack. So, uh, again, I would definitely recommend a specialized backpack, and it's actually a very good roll. So, firearms is 1235 with uh, stability and ammo capacity. Now, the only thing you'd probably have to change is stability and put whatever else you want on there, whether that's health or skill, crit hit, whatever you want to put on there. So, uh, that's definitely one to pick up this week, guys. At the East 46th this week, they have some good rolls for you guys. So, they have a Rapid Vest, which is a uh, pretty decent rolls. Um, the Major is Electronics at 1,222 with Health, All Resistance, and Increased Kill XP. So, definitely not the uh, the best roll I've ever seen, but certainly not the worst. So, if you guys are after just a little bit extra uh, skill boost to put in with your build, your four-piece tactician, your hybrid, uh, I would recommend definitely trying uh, a build with rapid it's not too bad stamina mod is not too bad this week so major is health with uh, health again as the major so you can just bump up your stats pretty much with that and then we have um, a sight which is 6% headshot damage 4% critical hit damage and 3% critical hit chance so by far uh, the place with the most um, valuable uh, assets this week is the east uh, 46th checkpoint so come check this out this week guys 
This week at the East 42nd, he is selling you uh, a surplus SVD, which uh, is not too good, so I won't go over that too much as we have the blueprint at the base. Um, however, it has balanced, meticulous, and disciplined, so not too great. However, the headshot damage is good. So if you're after one uh, and you don't have enough credits to get the blueprint, I would certainly uh, recommend buying this one. Uh, they then have uh, skill uh, electronics mod roll to skill with skill haste. So again, uh, we've seen a couple of these so far this week. I'm certainly picking up some of these. That is a good roll. At the East 40th this week, they have one thing which I think you guys might be interested in, um, and that's the prototype performance mod. So it's a sticky bomb damage. Now, I remember uh, back in the day, I think it was like 1.3, when it was the sticky bomb was the build to have, and you could kind of like kill four or five people around a rope. Uh, those were the days. Now, it's certainly not a viable uh, build right now to have. However, um, I would I would recommend getting this and just sort of keeping it maybe in your stash because I got a feeling they're gonna um, buff the sticky bomb just to kind of make it um, a bit more viable. Like you can't really use that uh, as such now, but definitely uh, one to reminisce on on the old days. This week on the East 58th, uh, they have, now this is the uh, question you guys got to have, is they have a nimble holster. Now, some people are saying, um, will it not be good in 1.6.1? Will it still be effective? Now, the only difference is it's a heal over time of like four seconds and you got to stay in the cover. Now, I've not really used nimble as such, but if you guys want to uh, sort of check this out, it's not a bad roll. Stamina, 1233 is the main, and then crit hit chance is the major. So it's not a bad roll if you're after a nimble uh, holster, sort of, um, and you don't know where to get one. I would recommend getting this one. Uh, they have a pair of Savage Gloves, which I don't rate too much. However, uh, you could use it for maybe like PvE and just kind of like change out uh, the firearms. If some of you guys are using an LMG, that's not too bad. Um, and they haven't got anything else that I sort of rate in here. Prosperous. Um, well, prosperous maybe for PvE actually, so um, the only problem is it's, it's kind of rolled to skill. Um, you could change that up, but my guess is as a miner you'd want uh, damage to elites if you're running it for PvE. So you guys just kind of like got to spin up and see what you prefer, whether that's firearms or uh, damage to elites on that. Technical um, pack, I don't rate too much. Operator vest robust is not really used as much because the idea is if you're running PvP, you don't sort of run in cover as such. It's more like a gunfight one on one, so that's not a, a vest which is used too much. Refreshed, uh, the rolls aren't great on that. I won't recommend that. At the DZ9 safe house, they have uh, a sentry call mask. A sentry call harness, which I would recommend you guys getting if you haven't already completed your sentry call uh, build. That's pretty decent. So health is uh, almost maxed out, and then it's got enemy armor damage, and then the firearms on it is pretty awesome. So you can maybe change out enemy armor damage if you wanted, or uh, minor, uh, in my opinion, would be better, and put on what you want, maybe ammo capacity. Tactician's pack again, uh, not too bad at all. So the fire are uh, sorry, the uh, electrics on there, 1258 are pretty good, if not almost god roll. So that's not far off. You can improve that. Uh, and then the major as a health is pretty decent. And then the minor is the only one I would change. Final measure, uh, not too great on that. Uh, you could maybe change up the stamina and put on uh, skill power and make it kind of like a um, min-max sort of like uh, skill build. If you're running hybrid, again, that's up to you. And then uh, Tactician's Authority Holster, uh, not too great. I would probably leave that. And then uh, Nomad, it speaks for itself. Downstairs, let's see what they got. So let's check out the mods. This week we have, um, okay, so this is actually pretty good. So uh, 110 magazine size with crit hit chance and rate of fire. So that's actually a pretty nice magazine to get. I would recommend that for this week. That's not so good. That's not so good. And that is also not so good. Okay, and last but not least, in the DZ2 um, safe room, they have a accomplished um, knee pads, which I think might be good for you guys who do PVE. 
rewards from accolades are tripled so if you're trying to get uh get the extra xp or get um towards maybe kind of like caches or something like that then these are certainly pretty decent for that build um relative skill power major is all resistance and then you've got the minor shock resistance uh disorient and blind and death below now this isn't too bad again if you're after just something just to boost up your xp so you can kind of like um like i said get the caches quicker i would recommend these um what else is in here again not too great uh rehabilitated mask a forceful vest steadfast and astute gloves now again this week hasn't been too great with uh weekly vendor resets there's a couple of good weapons like the ak-74 um and the uh tactical sasg as well as some very good mods so you know not totally disastrous this week but um certainly not too great either i'll try and get another video up next week for you guys on the weapon reset um for each week so i'm going to kind of like try and do that now each week going forward so if you guys want to hit subscribe and keep getting that content then please do so however uh if you did like the video please click a thumbs up thanks for tuning in to legatum gaming guys